the king penguin and um and here's what it looks like there's a picture and it has um it has it has some orange that goes like down its neck and it has an orange beak and it has a little orange spot on its head um, here's a picture of them out of them from the and it, as you can see it gets a little brighter as it starts to go down more I don't know why that is <laughs> um, it's food chain the penguin is in the food chain of the seashore it is it is in the middle of its food chain penguins can, are not prey to seals and eat shrimp for their food once a penguin is an adult, it can not become prey because of its size. The scuba hawk, the leopard seal, the elephant seal, and the fur seal eat baby penguins and its eggs. The penguin is a picky eater. It only tries to find shrimp, but often eats other fish. A baby penguin cannot eat on its own. The shrimp eats its surroundings like seaweed and algae. Okay. Um, Here's a here's a seal and a seal hawk and the seals usually eat the eggs and the hawks usually eat the um, the pe baby penguins except it the hawks you, some, the scuba hawks sometimes carry eggs home for its um for its um babies so, so it, but the hawk eats the um, the baby penguin and it it eats shrimp and shrimp is kind of like it's a circular fish and it has a tail on it and there's some seaweed and algae like if you ever see weeds or something it looks like something's been eaten it has holes that's what the seaweed and algae would look like and the sun it like takes in the sun and um it's next a penguin is a wonderful creature that enjoys loving and is not harmful to its ecosystem. A penguin has to protect its babies because they are the major food source for the seals and hawks in its ecosystem. The eggs of penguins are eaten by the seals. The baby penguins are eaten by the hawks. And here's a picture. Um, these are its steps. First it comes up and it just like stays there, doesn't just go for it, and then it just makes a move after a while and steals its egg. And a penguin does not fight back because if it fights back, it will get very hurt because a seal can easily kill it. So it doesn't want to fight back. If it makes a move, it just will have to take the egg, otherwise it will die. <laughs> when you think of penguins, you think of polar bears living in the, in the same habitat. Well, they don't. Penguins live in the South Pole and polar bears live in the North Pole. Penguins live on the seashore and icebergs for hiding. They only like to swim in cold water. They live in the South Pole of New Zealand, northern part of Australia, and southern part of South America, and the western part of Africa. Here's a picture. Um, these. This is the South Pole right there, and they... Um, live there, and they don't live farther out into the sea because they just swim. And here's Africa, and they just live in, in the southern part. And um, if you look on a map, it would really be the northern part because um, because that's uh, on a map. That's really the northern part. Kind of and here's South America it lives right in that little section. Um, fun fact. Swimming. Penguins swim at 30 miles per hour. It swims underwater until it needs to take a breath. Then it jumps over the water. It has secret hiding spots so it can die from icebergs and catch its prey easier. It spends two thirds of the of its time at sea. It takes and for, it takes stone nest for its eggs. The male has to find good stones before the female will mate. It it's it nests 
in the summer when it's warmer so the babies can stay warm. And warm. The babies have fr brown fur for uh, half a year. Once they lose their fur, their parents teach them how to hunt and live on the roof. And here's a picture of it starting to um, become, it's starting, it takes its beak and probably no one's one. Takes its beak and pecks it out and then it kicks open. And that's what it looks like when it's a baby. It has short wings. Those are its wings. And it has fluffy fur. And here is when um, they're a little bigger and they have their glowing fur. Since I um, Xeroxed it, it, it turned out in black and white. That's really when it's starting to turn orange and stuff and it's starting to have different phrases in its fur. And um, here is. Here's a picture of it diving off rocks. That's not an iceberg. But that's one phrase. And then here's another picture. And when they dive, they lift their wings, like in the other picture. Let's it its wings. So it can have more power and it dies so it won't hurt itself. Here's a picture of when they're in the water. And here's a picture when they're swimming through the water. And as you see, they're jumping in and out and they take a breath on their way. They, there's not, if you look closely, they're opening their mouths. It's hard to see. This is a picture when they're under. They go down really. They go down in an angle and come back up so they can have power when they jump out. Okay, how has man impacted? Help, help, I'm trapped. They're trying to get. So do they say sometimes penguins are being killed for the fluffy fur when they're babies? The people in South America do it for trading and time. Penguins sometimes find boats coming around to catch fish, and that prevents the penguins to get hungry, and then they might die. A lot of times that happens more often the babies because they can't live as long without food. And here is a picture. They usually do this like in Australia, South America, not in South, um, not in the South Pole because if they do it in the South Pole. They might get cold. They'd rather do it. And they take nets and they drop them under the boats and they trap all the um, shrimp and, they, and the fish so then the penguins can't get any for its babies and sometimes the adults die. And here's a picture um, of it shooting it for its brown fur. I don't know if they really shoot it. I never found that out. That's just an example of it killing it because it, it likes this fur because its fur is really fluffy. And that's all I have.